Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 150 of Terraria 1.3. Last episode, of course, we uh, killed Duke Fish Run right over Nya, and it was one out of three because the first one we forgot the buff. We died. I called it. I saw it coming, but uh, we, we died because I couldn't dodge and stuff. I didn't have the Shield of Cthulhu, but that, that's not that's not a big deal. We came back. We just used our potions. We kicked his butt the second time, and the third time we were dominating. And then he despawned. <laughs> so we got a one kill out of three. Not a big deal. We'll get more truffle worms. And then, eh, well, the, the fishing quest from hell over here decided to to be dumb. You might notice a little bit of times passed. I, I sat here because at the end of the last episode, my dogs were going nuts. And I had to uh, take care of that. Stupid dogs. You got a bunch of corruptors over here. But like usual, hey, there's the weird infected scabber fish quest thing. That was super annoying, and when I had to, cl I minimized the game, I didn't close the game, because if I close the game, I teleport home, and super annoying, and I just got an ebon coil there, that was very nice. I noticed, in the render, well, not the render, but like in the footage, because I, I, I looked over, I'm like, okay, what do I have to edit out, because the dogs are going crazy. Oh, look, look what, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's still here, look, look, oh, look, look, looks like they picked up the money, look what we just got, ancient shadow scale mail. Uh -huh. It dropped at like the end there. Like when I killed one of the, I don't remember what it was. I don't know if it was a corruptor. I can't remember. It was something. We killed something. I think it was a corruptor. And it dropped ancient shadow scale armor. And what did we need? Ancient shadow scale armor. We need the helmet. And that's it. Nice. So we got pretty lucky there. Of course I didn't get lucky with the annoying interruption, but them's the ropes. Uh, high test fishing line. That is the second one, right? That we have. Yes. So we can get rid of that. I also, of course, is kind of with with changing some settings and such. You can see the chests and everything much better now. They're not like flashing because of the refresh rates. I talked about that last time, so it's probably easier for you guys to see what I'm hovering over now. So I'm sure that's nice. Banners, I will put you in there. Hold on. Eater of Souls and Corruptor Banner. Uh huh. Yeah, I guess they are different things. Awesome. But anyway, we got another Ebon Koi. That is good. That is good. We used a Wrath Potion in the fight with Duke Fishron, and that made a big old difference. Where are my minions? Did I just, like, not see them? Were they in... What? I, I guess they didn't... I guess they didn't have them summoned? I don't know. I might have right-clicked it when I minimized the game. Anywho, let's put our Ebon Coys right there, and the Journeyman Bait will go ahead and put that away. Oh, that's right. Again, I gotta remember, we don't have the Unicorn. We have this flying thing. And you go away. All right. Lose the ammo box. So this time around, what we want to do is with the paint sprayer and some black paint. Because we did kill Duke Fish around last time. I still want to kill him some more. Absolutely. We will be killing him more. I want to work on Dante's house here. And I am not 100% sure if when I make an item frame with boreal wood, does it make a regular colored item frame or does it make it based off of the wood type? Looks like it's purely off of the, uh, like, just like the regular colors, no, there's nothing, it's always the same skin. Item frame or weapon rack? I think weapon racks have a bigger, they're, they're bigger on the walls and they have like a more pronounced, like the item isn't shrunk down as much, so it will look more obvious. So let's try that. Warwood walls, oh, something like that should be okay, I don't want to use too many. Paint spray and we have black paint, so this should play in our walls. He might get some some of the fancy white torches, because I, I like the pure white light with the back, the black background. It, again, it contrasts really nice. So let's put our, we're not our ruler back on. Let's put our wings back on, because we don't want to go splat. And you can see, yeah, the, the weapon rack is a bit huge. I might shrink this down the, the weapon frames or, or item frames. But maybe I'll, what I'll do is I'll put one in each corner. So I'll make another weapon rack. And we have to give him some kind of weapon. I might use muskets because it's something i don't care about i don't know if i want to pull any of these cool things but of course we would we, he needs to have a gun so phoenix blaster i think looks really freaking sick and he he needs guns not arrows not bows i think an uzi fits the part <laughs> i think an uzi looks pretty ba uh white torches did i have any leftovers oh baby yes i do awesome so you'll we'll use some of these Man, what are, what are we missing? So the bee armor. Uh, I gotta remember like the pattern. So it was molten, crimson, um, 
Ancient Shadow, Shadow Armor. Uh, okay, so we have the Shadow Armor. I'm trying to remember, what am I missing? Crimson, Ancient, oh, is it Cobalt? It's the Ancient Cobalt. And there was, there was one thing down here. Uh, that was the Gladiator set. Okay. So we're, we're, we're missing a couple things pre-hard mode. Then we're, then we're all done with pre-hard mode. Let's put this down. Okay, so that is, the, that is where we would put the torch. I could put them in the corners, but I kind of like where they are there. So, oh, well, I, I, I could hurt myself with that. Can I change the angle that this goes down? Because... Okay. No. Oh, is it just whatever I have equipped? Okay, it's, it's whatever you have equipped up there. Interesting. So it looks like even though this, the texture of this item is pointing to the right, like the gun's facing to the right of the screen, when I put it here, it always goes to the left. That seems weird. At least that goes to the right, so they, they both go opposite directions. I like that. For some reason, the Uzi looks a lot smaller than the Phoenix Blaster, but I like it. Does he want a window? He really doesn't have that much space with the weapon rack. So maybe he doesn't get a window. Maybe he just has fancy, fancy boilerwood doors. Uh, a table. I put a table in the center of the house. I will also break 80% of the house with my Shroomite Digging Claws, because that is what they're good for. <laughs> put the table there, because it's centered, and I will put the crafting bench down for now, because I want to make two chairs. Dose chairs. Get rid of you. That is about the extent of my Spanish, after four or five years of learning it. So his house looks a little plain. I think he requires... Well, he's, he's obviously going to get a roof. I think he requires a fireplace, if possible. Maybe get rid of those weapon racks and use item frames because they're they're much more fitting. They're, 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 that item, those weapon racks are a little bit too big for that size of a house, I think. So where is my furnace? What am I missing? Nothing. Do I want to make a furnace or do I want to make a campfire? Or not a fire, a fire pit, fireplace. What am I missing for the fireplace? I can never remember. I, I don't make that often. That is not one thing I make frequent. Uh, guide. Let me move you up here. No, no, no. Let's not mess with my arrows. Let's move Trent the guide up here. He should teleport. Bam. Let's just double check. It's like logs? Twigs. Or not twigs. What the hell? Wrong, wrong game. It's wood. Wood, torches, and stone, I thought. I, I would imagine if I showed him torches, we would find it. Pretty bad when I can't remember this recipe. What? Oh, okay. Alright, I get it. It's gray brick. It's not just regular old stone. Cobblestone. Interesting. How do I not know that? So these are very like, cobblestone -y. They're very bricky. You get my point. <laughs> they're very broken up. They're not perfect squares. It's cobblestone. Uh, do I have any gray brick? I thought I did. If not, I'll smelt it down. No biggie. All right, we'll smelt that down. It'll save us a little bit of a headache. We'll just make a make a fair amount of this. Probably about 500, just half of it. <laughs> I swear, I, I craft I craft faster at the double refresh rate. I do miss it. Oh man. So now I should have my fireplace. He's getting a fireplace and he's getting a chimney, if at all possible. And he will be getting item frames instead of weapon racks because they're smaller. And truth be told, they look really freaking cool in Gimli's house. So I think they'll do this man justice as well. Get rid of both of these. And item frames. Yeah, they're just... They're more fitting. Like for the size of a house. And it should still fit. Yes. It's smaller the texture, but they still fit. It's almost too small. <laughs> it's almost a little bit too small, but I do like it. Uh, does he still need like a fireplace? Should I relocate his table and chair? Like we'll put his his table here, chair, yeah, and a fireplace right here. And of course, what I can do, let's take the workbench. We'll plop it down. A couple gray brick walls, and he's not gonna get a window. But what he'll get is a fancy. A fireplace. I'll have to put the torch back down, obviously. And this is his chimney. This is his uh, his faux chimney. It's fake. Not functional. It's all it's it, it's an illusion. But it's a pretty cool one. Oink. Now I do want to outline it. So why did I get rid of all those gray brick walls? Because I am a dumb. Let's give him some more gray brick walls. Do, do, do gray brick wall. Don't know how many I need. Twelve might be enough. So all I do is come one out. 
And I go up one more. This might get rid of the... Yeah, this might mess with the uh, weapon rack or the item frame. Most of his house is a chimney. <laughs> Most of his house is a chimney, but it's styling. So here, you get your Uzi. I keep doing that. That's, we have the explosive bullets. So there we go. I don't know if I like that, though. I don't know if I like that. I still have black paint. It's almost too big for this small of a house. I think I, I think I figured it out. We'll put our wings back on. We'll take our gray brick walls, and I'll put it like that. I think I think that is good enough. That looks okay. Uh, Uzi, we'll put you here. This time I didn't right or misclick it, so I didn't blow my arm off. The torches. Now, obviously, it's not symmetrical, but that's fine and dandy and everything. We're not going for perfect symmetry with these homes. Not, not, not mostly. Uh, open that. Open or break that. Torch here. I don't know. Maybe th maybe we're not giving him a fireplace. It doesn't seem to fit very well. It seems to be too big. Unless we're going to move it over and put weapon racks above the t the table. I just think the way it's panning out right now, it's not exactly working as I intended. And I, I do want to give him a nice house. That's sort of the goal. So let's move things around a tad. We'll take the fireplace. Put it over a couple blocks. Paint spar is unequipped. Gray brick walls. So maybe we can just go straight up into the chimney. Like, we could very much do that. And as a test, let's see, do I like that or not? I Fallen Star, I'll get you here in a second. See, that just seems a little too small. A little? I don't know, maybe kind of not. It's sort of growing on me. I'm not opposed to this. Not as much as I thought it would be. So, let's break the torches. Item frame. Put you here. And then the Uzi goes here. Now, of course, the only light we have in here is the fireplace. So once we get the, the white torches back out, man, they are bright. Uh, that's what I like about them. They're, they're, very, they're pure light. Uh, do I, I, I just don't like the way the item, for, <laughs> the item frames are working out. We can hang them up like a, over, over the fireplace like a mantle or something. We don't really need two. Let's see what two looks like. I'm, I'm having a surprisingly difficult time giving this man a cool little, little setup. Now it, just look, now it just looks like there's going to be dick jokes. There's going to be dick jokes everywhere. So we're not rolling with that. Nope. Not like that. Not like this. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, I'll put them here. We can hang from the ceiling. Ooh, I'm not, I kind of like that. It almost looks like they are hanging from the ceiling. Let's do that. We'll move this over one block. That looks better in my humble opinion. Okay. So let's move him up here. Where are you in this list, Dante? There you are. And now, you come up here. Okay, you have your chairs, and you have your table, you have your torches. Uh, bullets? I mean, you can't really put bullets, like, on the ground as a decorative item. What? Like, what? Like, you know, just add some character. I mean, he's an arms dealer. There you go. He, he makes, he gets money. I don't really need that many. I mean, we'll be doing that a lot, like, in the tax collector's house, but I kind of like the way that looks. Now, we'll have to give him a roof, so we'll be raising this chimney up. But I just wanted to see what it looked like. Now, we haven't used gray bricks. Have we? Okay, we did. Uh, is there a color that I could dye them that would would match? Not black, because his black walls. Uh, not brown. I kind of like the way the gray one looks. I mean, that's why I've used it in the first place. Let's Let's do it for now. And we'll we'll change it up if I if I think it's too overused. I, I'm attempting to not utilize the same materials in every structure, and it's not exactly working out that well. But you can only do so much. Let me flatten these. I took a lot longer to make his 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 house than I thought it would, and we came to the conclusion we don't like hitting that with a hammer. Right there. It just looks dumb. I do like the slope though. Okay, we'll keep it sloped. And let's put the chimney back down. Here you go, Mr. Chimney. Right there you are. I like that. It's... It, we could put like a little window in there, but I, I do like that. I like the chimney. I like the fireplace. I do like the money. You know, arms dealer. It's just... It's cool. <laughs> the, the tax collector's gonna have like gold stacks. Gold and silver. So there'll be more NPCs getting money. Now we can get the cloud walls. I don't feel bad about putting the paint away. Or the great bricks, we can honestly, we can just 
quick stack most of this stuff. And gray bricks did not have a place in any of these chests. Now they do. Uh, let's see. What were we going to use? We need cloud walls. So most of them are over here, right? Clouds, cloud walls. Yep, I won't be using rain clouds for the majority of these. Just again, they're too close to the house and doesn't really match up. So cloud walls, here you go. This definitely adds that little bit of depth, I think, to the building. Or to the structure, to the cloud. Is that really a structure? I mean, it's kind of floating. It's man-made. It doesn't really have any integrity. It's sort of floating. I don't know. The house is a structure. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what we're calling floating clouds that I have crafted. I don't know. There's not words for these things. Other than clouds. We're gonna roll the clouds. It makes the most amount of sense. Alright. That looks good all but one spot. And I like the way your house looks. You, you need ropes. So Walter has the hookup. Let's talk to our buddy Walter. No! No! This is Walter's house. No! Walter is a pure maiden and does not have any women in his home. You knock that off. You do not tempt the man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god I'm starting things I should stop but let's give him some ropes just because I, I, I don't know why I like that I might swap them out for chains like iron chains those do look pretty sweet you could use some of those not opposed to that at all and one more actually looks like it yeah I think that fits so that is the arms dealer's house he's got some guns on the weapon racks up above his table like, you know, he can jump up there, or he can, he's sitting in his chair, he can grab his gun, you know, something happens. I, I don't know, I think it's kind of thematic. Not really too much you can do with guns that I can come up with in Terraria, but I do like the way that looks. So, up next, I'm thinking Angler. And we're not going to go down anymore, we're going to go a step up in the sky. And his house will be made out of mostly uh, palm wood, it'll be palm furniture, and then we need things like seashells. Uh, the starfish are actually really cool. Coral is nice. Coral! Get in the house, coral! Goddamn coral. But yeah, we'll take some coral here. Uh, more starfish, because there's a couple different color things of starfish, so get a couple of them. Why the heck not? They take up different inventory slots. Unless, of course, I think what happens is it's randomized when it's placed. So just having a bunch of them is nice. Yeah, you, you see, like, how it's changing as I try and place it. it it's just randomized. So, having a couple of them to mess around with is nice. Now, we don't really have that much palm wood in this world. Of course, there is the sandy biome, like just the desert biome. And we did place some acorns over there, so there should be some palm wood at my disposal. But we'll be making furniture out of it. Ah, king slime. Let's see, stand still, stand still. Oh, I tried to one hit it with my sniper. <laughs> he spawns in the outer one third. I like how we just got the... Did we just get the achievement for that? Yep. I told you, Steam Achievement's broke. Steam Achievement's broke. Well, I don't know what that's about. Do we have palm trees over here? A uh, couple. Not that many. Uh, we could flatten this out and plop some acorns down. That is not a bad idea. Get rid of that. And we have a bajillion of those. So, acorns. We didn't get many. But I will use them. So I keep markers equipped to place as many down as it'll let me within reason. And now let's let's flatten this out because we're gonna need more more palm wood. And even if we don't, uh, I would like to have it here. Like if we even if we don't immediately need it, I would like to have it now for maybe future projects. Could summon our own goblin army again. Those those dudes are just gonna keep spawning since we're again on the outer third of the map. The the scouts or whatever they're called, it just kind of exploded. They dropped the tattered cloth that we just got. I don't know where my tattered cloth is off the top of my head, but I know we have some. I don't know if I want to force the spawn or not. There's really no need. I mean, what's the shadow flame bow or something like that? The hex doll? I don't think we ever did get the hex doll. Those are, those are some things that you can get from that event. All right, so you know what? Why are we dig why are we digging like that when this is sand and we can just do this? I don't know. I don't know. But let's just do this and then we'll put the acorns down. And we'll give this stuff time some, some time to grow. Just totally beat him with my digging claws. <laughs> digging claws are so much fun. They're so cool. Alright, acorns. You, 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 and you. Alrighty. Uh, I could chop these trees down. 
these are the big natural trees that we had spawning in the world that we don't really get that many of because whenever I place acorns, it doesn't really, never really uh, grows to be as big as those trees, sadly. So there we are. In Tino's staff, we can sell all the stuff that we get in this. But let's take our little loot haul back. Uh, palm wood, see 122. That ain't gonna get me very far. Let's quick stack over here. Do I have tattered cloth over here? If it disappears, then we do. Aha! I thought I did. Yep, okay. We could probably make one of the goblin standard thingies and summon it. Not that I really need to fight the goblin invasion right now. And not that I want to fight it anywhere near Walter. Just, it doesn't seem like a good idea. But we have it now if we need it. So, palm wood, if we go to a sawmill, should have quite the collection of cool furniture. So, the palm wood, like the dresser, there's like a bathtub. I think we need iron bars and. Or, no, like a sink. We need iron bars and a bucket of water. Can I? I, I, thought, I don't know if I tested this. Did I test this? The bottomless water bucket. The count in the recipe for, for sinks. Uh, no. <laughs> we can just, we can get a bucket of water and then do it that way. That's, that's a non-issue. We can just make our own water. <laughs> that is, that is funny. You can make your own. If I, I wish that worked the way I, I wanted it to. I'll take the lead bars. We'll take a handful more in case there's something else we desire. And with the lead bars, let's just make sure. Uh, I want to make sure it doesn't need lead. I can never remember. Boreal wood bathtub. Helmet rack, spear rack, sword rack, yeah, none of these things I don't think are going to go in the angler's house. So with the uh, the bucket and the bottomless bucket of water and the iron in my inventory or the lead, let's make myself a real bucket. And I think we need to be at an anvil. Makes sense. So bucket and we go get water down below. I can place water wherever I want and pick it up. Why don't we just do this? It would probably save time. Bloop. Bloop infinite water i like it this thing is so cool just flood your world of course if it goes past what's out in the ocean it does like disappear so it's kind of it it's possible but it's very difficult to flood your world you, ha you have to deliberately try you really do have to try so now i should be able to make a sink right unless they don't have one i could have swore they did make a liar out of me yet unless there's something else i need but for now, he's definitely getting a dresser. He is getting a the workbench. The chairs. Do they not have palm wood chairs? Let's see. Okay, no, no, no. Here, like, the chests are cool. Uh, there's the sink. So the sink. He's definitely going to get a sink, if possible. So before we go too, too ham, I do like the way you, what you can do with palm fences and you space them out. They do look pretty darn cool. Uh, again, before we make too many things... Let's take the clouds, and we'll have to go over a little bit, and then up for the base of his cloud. And he's, he's going to be above the arms dealer, so, like, they all came down because they keep a certain distance between, like, what's below him. And I don't want to go too far down with him, so we're going to work our way up. It's like it's like alternates, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's just, There's really... It's just there to look different. Then I don't want them all on the same level. Uh, that just seems silly. Make them varying... That seems like the cooler, more interesting idea. I think I want to go a little higher than this, in all seriousness. It's like up here. Yeah, let's let's get rid of this stuff so I don't. I'm not tempted to build down there. I'm not sure what's dying over here, but it was slime, I guess. It made that sound. And again, doesn't everything make that sound? You figured after so long I would know this. <laughs> I truly don't know. Uh, right, so, again, let's get this place down, and their houses were, like, 15 or 17 blocks, so we can break out the ruler here, and do a little bit of, like, a, just a quick guess as to how big the house will be for this guy. Uh, we could, of course, make it bigger, but the whole point is small little houses for each guy. Each NPC are all unique. Uh, I don't want to give them, like, a mansion. <laughs> I would be here forever. Not that that is a bad thing. But there's no way that my creativity will last that long. There's no way I could keep coming up with things to do like that. Or ideas for building. This is stressing my little pea brain. <laughs> building is not my thing. I like doing it. But I don't think I do a great job at it. Not at all. And uh, let's round this off or something. So we'll dig you. Square that. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Snow. No, no, Snow. I'm going to get you, Cloud Block. Thank you. 
All right, so ruler. How how long is this? I need to have a block. What? Did I, what? Oh, that I turned the visibility off. That's why I always have my boots showing. I never remember that. So from here to there is 17. So let's fill this up. And it was to here, right? Let's check. Do, do, do. 17. Cool. So this actually needs to go away. And then we fill this in with palm wood. I, I, I really like palm wood. Palm wood is really pretty. It's very nice looking. So we'll go... Oh, no, no, no. Not, not those. We'll go up. No, stop. Shift. 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 Stop it. We'll go up to the door. And we'll give them palm wood doors, of course. I think they have a little bit of green on them. This is what I like about palm wood furniture. It's, of course, it's got the green from the tree on it. And it looks really nice. So we got the workbench. We can craft the various things. He needs two doors. Uh, maybe, maybe the door doesn't have the green on it. But it's like the furniture and the hammock. I'm pretty sure the hammock... I, I might make... It might not seem... Might not make a might not seem like it makes sense but i might make the living wood or the living uh bed or something because it's green and it fits the theme so i might do that okay so he needs something like this and hammer that and of course i hit that once got like a little bit of a, a theme going here so i will get rid of that hammer you and we need to add more clouds i feel it's like that, and that, and that. Alright, break out the hammer. <laughs> uh, let's get this back to normal state, and then I'll hit it once. I'll get this back to normal state, hit it once. I like that. That's better. Awesome. So we're getting places. Just takes a bit of time. This is building 101. Uh, palm wood walls. So this is what we're running out of palm wood. <laughs> Hopefully those trees kick in. Or we'll have to go to the other uh, little desert area. He will definitely need windows. It makes sense to give him windows. Uh, I need to make like one more, maybe. Aha, one more. Get rid of that. So, we need glass. Well, let's head home and get some glass because we have plenty of it. Dun, dun, dun. Is it in this chest? Yeah. We'll bring glass blocks because those glass balls will not last long. And who knows if I want to make other furniture. Uh, while we're over here. While we are over here, let's check those trees. These ones are definitely have definitely grown. I can't remember which one we're supposed to go through. I gotta rewire them. Yeah, these ones are definitely grown. I need to harvest you. I am desperate for palm wood right now. The hell was that? Oh, that was my my pet like running over there to attack something. I'm like, what's that? I thought I thought it was the uh, the dungeon guardian head. I'm like, what? No, 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 no. That's just the the weird weird uh, UFO pet thing. There we go. Got a fair amount of this stuff. Let's just teleport home. It's quicker. And can I make... Uh, it's like a hammock or something, right? I, I made it my old 1.2 thing. My old 1.2 series in his house. I'm pretty sure I just gave him one of the, the beds the Dryad has. But really, we're, we're working with very limited space compared to the house that I gave him before. So I'm going to relax on that for now. Let's, let's place the furniture we have. And if I have more room, we'll, we'll use that. Okay, so the, this might not be symmetrical, but that's okay. I might push the window to the one side of the house. Undecided. Undecided as it is. So I'll hold off on that for the moment. I'll give you the dresser. You can get... There's actually specialty stuff like palm wood. Lamps are very cool looking. I dig these very much. In fact, let me break this. Give you another one. That is centered. So you know what? I will make the window... Like that. That doesn't really make sense that I made him a sink, thinking about it. <laughs> uh, this is because I, I, was, I uh, made the other house previously, and I gave him a whole lot more in the way of furniture. But yeah, it doesn't make much sense. So we can put like a seashell up here. I might give him a starfish. I like the pink starfish. Let me see if we can get that one to place. Yeah, I like that one. That one's pretty. And you can just put the starfish you know, like here and there, and you can also take palm wood make palm wood platforms, and then put that up here, and then decorate it. So, like, you can have more of these, or go get some seashells. So we've got we've got a seashell we can place up here. Now, we have three freaking uh, same-colored starfish, so let's change that. No, if you would get out of my way and I could see what I'm placing. If you would get out of my way and I could see what I'm placing, that'd be amazing! <laughs> I didn't mean to get rid of the wisp. 
Let's eat. Let's equip the wisp. I wanted to get rid of the UFO. It kept standing right here in the corner. Can I get a nut? There we go. It's like for some reason I was getting that light orange one. I want one of the pink ones too. Or actually, is there another color? There's orange, pink, and then that red. Oh, I like the one. No, no, that's that's a duplicate. Is that is that all you get? Is that the variety? It's three of them. I've never really extensively tested that or anything. It looks like that is the variety. So I'll put that here for the moment. He's definitely going to get his workbench. He needs a chair, obviously. Might give him a chest. Is there a palmwood chair? Oh, I thought that was like a chalice or, a, or something. No, that's a chair. So there he goes. And maybe a chest? Store some goodies. So we'll give him like a grassy roof. We might, we'll probably end up using living wood wand. But uh, a living leaf wand. So it's time to wrap the episode up, guys. We got the house for Dante here. I, I do like it. I wish we could have squeezed more item frames in there. But that would require making that's a lot more, a lot bigger. I don't want to make mansions. I want to make little houses for everybody. The angler's house, though, looks very vibrant. Especially when we put this green roof on here. It's going to look very pretty. I, I love building with palm wood. It's one of my one. It's one of my favorite materials, to be honest with you. That and pearl wood or pearl, pearl stone. Pearl stone's amazing. So I could give him one of these green sinks. You know, put more green in the house. But when we put that roof on this green, it's going to be really overpowering. But uh, it's time to wrap the episode up, guys. This was episode 150. I might go try to get some truffle worms next episode, so we can do another uh, Duke fish run kill. Uh, yeah, I almost did something entirely different, but. <laughs> might try Duke Fish Run here soon. Let's put Timmy up in his house and see if we can get him to teleport. And he already did. So Timmy is already in his new house. He just needs a roof. I like it. I think this is so cool. I think this is so cool. <laughs> Wrap it up here, guys. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.